Hi, I'm Julie Donnelly from Julestro Muscular Therapy Center. I've developed the unique Julestro techniques to be a self-treatment system to release the muscle spasms caused by repetitive strain injuries. In this session of Pain-Free Living, we're going to be talking about a whole series of muscles that cause that burning and pain in the hand and the wrist that are sometimes thought to be carpal tunnel syndrome. We're going to be talking about the nerves that originate all the way in your neck in a bundle of nerves that are called the brachial plexus that turn into three separate nerves right here. The median nerve that goes to your thumb and your first two fingers, the ulnar nerve that goes to your ring finger and your pinky finger, and also the radial nerve that goes down to your wrist. They pass underneath a muscle here called the scalenes. They come here. There's a muscle right here that's called the pectoralis minor. And the pex minor comes up and inserts on a little tiny bone in your shoulder, part of your shoulder blade. It's called the coracoid process. Underneath the coracoid process, these three nerves actually start to branch out to become individual nerves. And they innervate um, burning into your chest when they're impinged between your shoulder blades and all the way down into your hand. To talk a little bit about the nerves, there's a phenomenon that says when a nerve is impinged at any point along its length, you're going to feel it at the end point. And with these nerves, the end point is your fingers and your wrist. The next thing, the nerve goes down this way and it goes underneath your bicep muscle. This is the median nerve. The ulnar nerve to your pinky and ring finger, they come down here. When the muscle is tight, it's again impinging on the nerves, whichever one, and causing burning that can go all the way down the arm and into the hand. When you get to the lower arm, these muscles are called your extensor muscles. And the extensor muscles come down and they actually insert on the carpal bones here and also on the tip of your fingers. When these muscles contract, if your hand is in a fist and these muscles contract, you do this and that. But if the muscles are tight and you try to go in the other direction, they're actually pulling up on your carpal bones and they're pulling up on the insertion points at your wrist and your fingers. And you're feeling pain because just like pulling your hair hurts your scalp, the muscles pulling on the bones hurts, hurts the area, hurts the wrist and the hand. On the other side of your forearm, these are called your flexor muscles. These muscles come down, they turn into a tendon here and then the tendon actually goes through the carpal tunnel. As it goes through the carpal tunnel, the median nerve is going through along with these tendons. You can imagine how if the muscle gets tight and pulls on the tendon, it's causing that little nerve to get impinged inside of the, with the tendons. Now those tendons insert here, here, and here. As the tendons of your flexor muscles contract, you do this, this, and that, right? But it can be trapping the median nerve right here. So you have the ulnar nerve being trapped on this side. Um, by the way, the ulnar nerve is the one that causes you to have that horrible feeling that when you hit your funny bone, never could see anything funny about that other than the way people are hopping around and everybody's laughing at you. Because it sure isn't funny. But that's your ulnar nerve. Another muscle that's very important to this entire hand and wrist problem is the, it's called the opponent's pollicis. The opponent's pollicis originates on a little ligament right here that's called the uh, flexor retinaculum. It is the bridge to the carpal tunnel. And the nerve and the tendons are passing right underneath this bridge. When the opponent's pollicis contracts, it originates here, but it inserts on your thumb. So it's pulling your thumb into the center of your hand. As the muscle gets tighter and tighter and tighter, 
either your thumb can end up being in this way and you can't pull it out because it's too tight and can make you think that you're having some arthritis in the thumb, pain in your thumb. But as far as the hand and wrist problem, where it comes in is because it originates right here on the bridge to the carpal tunnel. As that muscle is getting tight, it's pulling on the flexor retinaculum and actually causing it to press down on the, uh, the median nerve that's passing right through here. You're going to get burning and pain in your thumb and your first two fingers, which are definite symptoms of carpal tunnel syndrome. However, what's actually happening here is the nerve is getting caught in the carpal tunnel, but it's getting caught because this muscle is too tight. We need to release this muscle to take the pressure off the bridge of the, the carpal tunnel. In order to look at these uh, muscles and their impact on the nerve, it, it's imperative to look at the whole entire situation. Don't just look at the fact that your hand, your wrist hurts, your hand hurts, your fingers are on fire. Look at the whole picture. If you'd like more information of how muscles can cause hand and wrist pain, uh, trigger finger, and also carpal tunnel syndrome symptoms, please go to my website, julstro.com. I teach clinics all over the country, and I hope one day to meet you. Thank you.